Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. And don't we want to stay a little closer to him? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady there. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Hey, I, I, I thought we were strategizing. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. There you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So. You gonna make a move?
quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? This ain't worth taking. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Idiot. We don't want to tip it out here. Go, go! Let's haul! Come on. G up! Fall in! <laughs> I'll crack that whip! Riders, coming our way. Keep it together, dude. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella? saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. If he wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me, we had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Enough, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Why don't you sit a while?
Good morning, Arthur. Idleness is betrayal because it means Morning, Arthur. I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I just want to miss. You're right, not missing. On. Good morning, Arthur. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Good evening. Word with you, Morgan.
Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir, a gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. What I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook No, you snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. Drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? They're going to wreck the wagon. What a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. How will we go to get out of this? Where are we moving? Hey, where do you go? Come on, Morgan, pick up the pace here.
real well then. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> You want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's 
plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. for here. I'm gonna douse this too. You want the grace to know we're coming? This is a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Come on. You must have something with a flame, right? 
Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go and the a fat cigar. I got the right hand. I'll enjoy killing you. Somebody stand up!
I turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Easy, boy. I need a word with you, Morgan. Arthur, Arthur. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. 
We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. <laughs> 